Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to Wonder Kids Academy. In our video, we're going on a super exciting trip across space. Are you ready to explore the planets of the solar system with us? Buckle up, young astronauts, because we're about to zoom past stars, moons, and planets as we learn about the amazing world beyond Earth. Let's blast off and discover the wonderful planets that dance around the sun. Meet the sun, our shining star. Before we meet the planets, let's say hello to the sun. The sun is a big, hot ball of fire in the center of our solar system. It gives us light, warmth, and energy. Without the sun, plants couldn't grow, and we wouldn't have daytime. The sun is super important because it helps all the planets stay in their orbits. That means they move around it in a circle, Mercury, the speedy planet. The first planet closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury is tiny and very, very fast. It's the smallest planet in our solar system and zooms around the sun quicker than any other planet. Since Mercury is so close to the sun, it gets very hot during the day and super cold at night. Imagine wearing a warm jacket in the morning and a swimsuit in the afternoon. That's how wild Mercury's temperatures are. Venus, the hottest planet. Next stop, Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, and it's covered with thick yellow clouds. These clouds trap heat, making Venus the hottest planet in the solar system, even hotter than Mercury. Sometimes, Venus is called Earth's twin because it's about the same size as our planet. But be careful, you wouldn't want to live there because it's way too hot, and the air isn't safe to breathe. Please take a second to like our video. This helps our algorithm so that other boys and girls can see our videos and learn these fun things that you are learning too. Now back to our video, Earth, our beautiful home. Now we arrive at the third planet from the sun, Earth. That's where we live. Earth is special because it has water, air, and life. It's the only planet we know that has people, animals, and plants. From space, Earth looks blue and green because of the oceans and forests. We're very lucky to live here. Earth also has one moon that lights up the night sky. Have you ever looked at the moon and seen its round, shiny face? That's Earth's lovely companion, Mars. The red planet next up is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and is known as the red planet because of its reddish color. Scientists think the red color comes from iron in the soil. Just like rust on metal, Mars has mountains, valleys, and even frozen water. Some scientists are studying Mars to see if people might live there one day. Isn't that amazing? Mars also has two tiny moons named Phobos and Deimos. They look like little potatoes floating in space. Jupiter, the giant planet. Hold on tight because our next planet is huge. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the biggest one in the whole solar system. You could fit more than 1,000 Earths inside Jupiter. Wow, Jupiter is made mostly of gas and it has a big red spot that's actually a giant storm. It's been blowing for hundreds of years. Jupiter has many moons, more than 70 of them. The largest four are called Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Jupiter is truly the king of the planets. Saturn, the planet with rings. Here comes Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. Saturn is famous for its beautiful rings. These rings aren't solid. They're made of ice, dust, and tiny rocks that circle around the planet. Saturn is another gas giant, just like Jupiter, and it's very light. If there were a big enough bathtub, Saturn could actually float on water. Isn't that fun to imagine? Saturn also has many moons, and one of them, called Titan, is even bigger than Mercury. Uranus, the tilted planet. Now we glide over to Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus is special because it spins on its side. Most planets spin like a top, but Uranus rolls like a ball. That's because it's tilted so much that it looks like it's lying down. Uranus is light blue and very cold because it's so far from the sun. It's made of icy gases, and it also has rings, though they're faint and hard to see. 
Uranus has 27 moons with funny names like Miranda and Titania, Neptune, the windy planet. Finally, we reach Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the sun. Neptune is a beautiful dark blue color and is known for having the strongest winds in the whole solar system. Imagine winds blowing faster than a race car. Neptune is icy, cold, and stormy. It also has rings, but they're very thin. Neptune's largest moon is called Triton, and it's covered in ice. Neptune is like the quiet, mysterious member of the solar system family. Spinning far away in the cold darkness, Pluto, the dwarf planet. Some of you might have heard of Pluto. Pluto used to be called the ninth planet, but now scientists call it a dwarf planet because it's very small. Pluto is tiny, smaller than Earth's moon, and it's super far from the sun. It's cold, icy, and lonely out there. But Pluto still orbits the sun like all the other planets. Even though it's not one of the main eight planets anymore, Pluto is still very special. Let's review our space adventure. Wow, we've traveled across the whole solar system. Let's remember what we learned. Mercury, the fastest planet. Venus, the hottest planet. Earth, our beautiful home. Mars, the red planet. Jupiter, the biggest planet. Saturn, the one with rings. Uranus, the tilted planet. Neptune, the windy planet. Pluto, the little dwarf planet. Our solar system is amazing. Each planet is unique and special in its own way. Some are hot, some are cold, some have rings, and some have lots of moons. But together, they make our solar system a wonderful, magical place full of mysteries waiting to be explored. So, young explorers, keep looking up at the stars and dreaming big. Who knows, maybe one day you'll travel to space and visit these amazing planets yourself. Are you ready for your next space adventure? Let's keep exploring and learning about our incredible universe. Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you all have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids like you. And see you in our next video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos like this. Please also visit us at www.wonderkidsacademy.info and see more of what we are all about. Thanks again for watching our video.